First impression is I am impressed. <laughs> the jeans, okay, I gotta unbutton this because big, I can't breathe. Woo! OMG, look how cute this top is. Uh, What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be here today. I am coming at you with a huge, a huge Shein haul. It's huge for me because typically I don't buy this many clothes at one time, but I'm actually about to go on a vacation here in the next like week and a half and I needed stuff to wear. This is my first, very first time ever shopping with Shein. Um, I've put thought into it. I've made carts in the past, but I've always been so afraid of how their clothes would fit on curvier and plus size women. Um, but I decided to take the chance um, for my upcoming trip and shop Shein for everything I need to wear. And y'all, I have stuff from jeans to bathing suits to skirts to dresses to shoes i have like four pairs of shoes to hats accessories um so i'm really excited to get started with this um haul this video will be a first impression unbox with me type of haul all the stuff was on sale i shopped okay so i'm really excited to get into these clothes get into what i purchased and to show you guys and give you guys my first impression thoughts. So before we do, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. You definitely won't regret it. You're gonna love it here. And give the video a big thumbs up. Turn that bell notification on so you don't miss any uploads. And let's get into the video. Okay, so I went ahead and put on the first two items. And we're gonna start with this super risque top. So completely see-through. I didn't realize how much of a titty shirt this was. Like this is a straight up titty shirt. Like I have sticky pads on that kind of like raise my breast, but wow, like I am out there <laughs> with this shirt on. It's super cute though. I think that I like how big the neckline is. It's super thin, completely see-through. Uh, the material, like I said, very thin. I mean, you can literally I mean, I can literally see, like you can see my face, you know what I mean? So I got this top in a 1XL and I'm glad that I did because it gives me room to like not show. I feel like if it was any smaller, it would just completely reveal everything on me. Um, but yeah, I kind of had visions of it going with this skirt. Now I got this skirt in an extra large. Um, I have a fupa, but like my waist area is a lot slimmer than my foop area <laughs> it fits just fine um on the waist there's no like extra space side it has this zipper this is how you put it on the zipper is located right here it kind of like makes an outline and accentuates the fupa i kind of don't really like that so depending on what shirt i wear i think i will keep that in mind um for when i put this skirt on it stops like right at my knees I know you guys can't really see that. I'm trying to back up for you. It looks like it goes all the way down right now, but it actually stops right where my knees are. These are the first two items. I mean, they're cute. I hope that the other items fit a little bit better than these as a first impression. These are pretty thin, uh, you know, eh, you know? <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about it. I'm just, I, at this point, I'm just happy that they freaking fit, okay? Let's move on to the next item. Okay, guys, up next is this super cute top. I love it here. Let me try to brighten this, see if that helps. Okay, I love this top. Okay, so I have a top and bottom kind of like combo going on. I purchased these jeans and they do not fit. Um, so let me just, let me just back up, let me back up. Let's start with the top. So we have this super cute like halter looking kind of top. It makes like a V kind of like bandana shape going towards the front, which is perfect because like I said, my like waist area is a whole lot more cinched than my bottom area. So this gives the illusion that I'm a lot slender. <laughs> it looks so flattering on my body with the right jeans but I love the top and how it's like slouchy. Like right now I have these little sticky pads and the sticky pads are doing perfect with this shirt. Like it, my, my, my titties don't look crazy. It has this tie up in the back. 
um what do you call that like a little halter the material is super soft i wouldn't call this cotton is this cotton it might be it feels a whole lot softer than cotton um but it's not satin you feel me um it's super stretchy i love the the banded back um it just accentuates me very well it looks very good on me and now these jeans um so let me show y'all the jeans i'm actually gonna keep y'all i think i'm gonna keep y'all like that i like that a whole lot better okay so y'all these jeans were so cute online um i tape measured myself i read the size guide i looked at reviews and i was certain these jeans were gonna fit they have no stretch they button i don't know if i'm gonna return them yet because they button they just don't zip all the way like i can like halfway zip it but they don't zip all the way so this was like the concept of the shirt and jean kind of vibe i was gonna do this as a night out kind of fit uh with some heels the jeans okay i gotta unbutton this because i can't breathe Woo! yeah so needless to say these do not fit i think that I'm in the process of losing weight again. I have like 20 more pounds to lose. And if I lose those 20 pounds, these will fit. I might even keep these jeans as a like a like a like a goal setter kind of vibe because they're so cute. I will say though, like they have these like cute little details on the side. Same with the knee pocket as well. Um, it kind of just goes throughout and then the bottoms, the bottom legs are like fringed um real distressed no stretch whatsoever for these jeans they only have small medium large and extra large uh, on the sizing chart for these jeans i went back and forth with these jeans for so long about if i even wanted to bother getting them but i ended up saying yes you know i don't think i'll be able to wear them for my trip but these are a good like goal setter like when i lose some weight i when i know i can fit these i know i've lost some weight but um, as far as the quality goes, the button feels flimsy. The zipper feels really thin and flimsy as well. Um, I will say that the jeans are thin. Like they, the material, I don't, I can't say that I trust these to last me years. You know what I mean? These are cute, um, very cute style, very cute like vibe they have going on. They had these in black, they had these in regular jean color. Um, the regular jean color had like different patches of jean like you could see like the dark jean the light jean and it's like a patchy kind of vibe but yeah I, these would be so cute this whole fit would be a vibe with some heels uh but yeah that's kind of like my first impression really um aside from the fact that they don't fit that's like my own issue they only go to a size extra large so i was willing to take that risk and the risk got me to it not fitting <laughs> and that's okay but yeah as far as quality goes those are really my thoughts um i really 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 love this top this top is like everything to me like this is so cute i feel comfortable in it i mostly hate my arms but i'm trying to like you know <laughs> get myself out of that but i think this top fits exactly how i i thought it would fit um it's doing everything that i anticipated that it would do and yeah, I love the top. Jeans were a flop, but that's okay because we have so many other clothes. So let's try those. OMG, look how cute this top is. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. So we have some super like baggy kind of just like, I thought these were linen online. I guess I should have looked at the description, but they are like a soft kind of like, suede almost um so let's get into the pants first so the pants have like a nice little um stretchy drawstring at the waist um no pockets anywhere and they're pretty big and baggy i think that's the vibe they go all the way to the floor and they are pretty wide leg at the bottom these are exactly exactly aside from them not being linen these are the exact vibe i was going for i love these freaking pants wow I didn't think that I would. I don't know how I thought they would fit, but they look so good on me. I love the top. So this top is like a, I would call this, is this more on the linen side? It's like a rougher kind of material, definitely not cotton, 
but same kind of vibe as the black one that I tried on first with the tie ups in the middle, except this has like this cute little fringe. It's almost like it doesn't show your breasts too much, but your breasts are completely out. Like so freaking cute. I just think that this whole entire look, this is what I, I bought these two to wear together. Um, and I think that they are so cute. This is just flowy. It goes with the vibe of where I'm going. Even though it's long sleeve, it's completely breathable. It's thin, um, thin enough. <laughs> this is a whole lot thicker than the black one, but it, it feels how it should feel. Like, wow, this just looks so cute on me. Like, in my opinion, I just think that this is just so cute. Um, I really like it. I like how comfortable and there's a lot of room. These pants are an XL. The top is a 1XL, and I'm glad I got this top in a 1XL, again, because I would have the same issue as the last top. If I got just an extra large, it would be too small. Um, just not as comfortable for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, and this one, I can move around. It's breathable. I have space. You know, my tits aren't, you know, flopping all over the place. They're kind of almost kind of masked by what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, it although they are pretty much out it's almost like you can't really tell and i just love that i love oh my god this is just so freaking cute ah first impression i'm i'm impressed with the bottoms the bottoms are really good material they just feel durable they feel um like they'll last a while they don't feel so like paper thin um, and the same with the shirt, you know, the shirt's thin, but I, I feel like this shirt would last me a while. And I love the cinched sleeve and how it's just kind of like puffy throughout, but it has the little scrunch here at the wrist. Yeah, this is just super cute. Um, I like this one. This one is a, my most impressed outfit, but this is like, this is the vibe I kind of want to be in the destination that I'm going to just flowy just free it's gonna be hot you know what I mean so I'll probably wear this when we explore the town oh yeah so freaking cute and before I forget I actually got this hat that is supposed to go with this outfit let's just see how it looks Let's see how it looks, let's see how it looks. And I'm gonna show you guys all the shoes at the end and just show you all at the same time. But this is the hat I got, so here's a little detail. I could do without the bumblebee pendant, but you know, I didn't even realize that was like a freaking bumblebee on there. Oh, it looks like I can just cut that right off. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Um, But let's see how this hat looks. If y'all knew where I was going, this whole vibe is just like a vibe. And then I have like, one of the pairs of shoes to match with this little outfit. I have like a basket purse. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the hat. Um, if it's pretty cute, I just like will put that freaking bow to the back. Like that is just tacky to me. Yeah, here we go. You know, I will wear it like this. Just kind of like real cute like. I think it's okay. Um, I think it kind of goes with the vibe, you know what I mean? If I have like a little, I also have like a weaved, a woven uh, purse. Yeah, yeah, this is cute. So this is one of the accessories that I purchased, or the only accessory really. I was going to get a whole bunch of shades and stuff, but I couldn't per do express shipping with the, with the glasses in my car. Like, I guess they didn't do express shipping, but I had to... I had to put down a whole bunch of cute shades that I really wanted, but I couldn't get. But anyway, so yeah, this is the hat. Um, one of the only accessories that I got. And then I have like four pairs of shoes. But like I said, I'll show you all those later. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the next outfit. Okay, guys, moving right along. Your girl, your girl, your girl. Your girl's going to be serving looks. Your girl's going to be cute. Okay, okay, so we have this super cute flowy tie-up shirt. So uh, let me just undo it for you guys without showing you too much. But yeah, it completely ties up. So that is just how I did that. And you can do this so many ways. I saw so many people kind of tying this different ways, like wrapping it 
um, which I thought was cute. Like, I think that is cute. I could wear it like this. Uh, the material is like um, like a ribbed material. Um, it's super stretchy, but it hugs. Like it hugs my arms really well. Um, and then look at these cute flowy arms. I mean, look at them. <laughs> I think that is just so cute. And then I purchased this skirt to go with it. This is just like a, it looks like a tapestry, but made into a skirt. It has this huge deep slit right here. It literally slits all the way up, um, but it doesn't show unless you like pop that thing, like pop that thing. And that's what I was nervous because I thought that it would just be like slit open and showing all of my stuff. But as you see, it's kind of hard for me to open the slit. I have to purposely open the slit because it overlaps so much, which I think is perfect. It, it adds like a sense of comfortability for me. Um, most importantly, I like the, the cinched waist. Y'all know me, I like a cinched waist. I like to keep it nice and tight in this little area. Um, and this adds a whole lot more security and it's comfortable. Um, and this is super stretchy. I probably could have gotten I believe this is an extra large. The top is an extra large. Um, you know, the extra large is fine. I think it fits absolutely perfect. If I went up a size, I think it would be too big. Um, I believe the reviews were like, order, order a size down. This is really big, it's really big. So I was just like, eh, I'm not gonna go down, but I will do an extra large. I think that should be fine. But, um, but yeah, this is just too cute. Okay, hold on, let me tie this up for y'all. From this outfit, I just get so just like flowy, adorable adult, like, you know what I mean? And then I would pair it with like some sandals and this would be like what I wore, what I would wear probably like the third day for brunch or breakfast, wherever we go, just flowy, just going with the vibes of the location. I'm really glad this outfit worked out. I'm glad this top worked. I could really pair this top with so many other things. Um, and yeah, that's it for these two little pieces. And oh, also this skirt is super cute because it has like these little fringes right here, um, little tassels. This is pretty thin and it's pretty see-through. Um, so <clears throat> just kind of be mindful about that. But overall, the material is pretty good, I must say. I definitely, I definitely think this is cute. Really, really freaking cute. Okay. <laughs> oh, yay, this dress is so pretty. Okay, guys, so we have this super cute, leopard print kind of vibe going on. I don't think I have it zipped all the way, but since I'm back here, I can show you. It has a zipper. Um, it, the zipper stops right here, it goes all the way up. Um, I love that the back is kind of like out um, with a little cross string kind of vibe. These strings are adjustable, but it actually is perfect on me where it is right now like I said I just do have these little tapies on still and they're doing pretty well <laughs> um I love this deep neckline this deep um going down all the way past my chest um it cinches right here where the waist is perfectly I mean if it's so snug this is an extra large um and it goes all the way to the floor I do have some hang time on the floor um, and as far as the layers, this material feels exactly like the last shirt, the brown shirt, you know, kind of like that rough, I don't really know what material this is, but it is only one layer. Like there isn't, there's not two layers to the dress. There's no slip under it. Um, but the material is so thick that you, it's not see through at all. Like you can't see through it. Oh, I love this dress. This came out so good oh my god i'm so happy i got this dress it looks so it's very flattering on me the neckline is just like all of this right here all of this all of this all of this it's just the vibe okay <laughs> um but yeah it's pretty long i'm 5'3 and this dress um pretty has about this dress has about three inches on the floor so it's long it's pretty long um, so for anybody who is tall, this dress would be good for you. Um, it'll definitely hit your feet. 
um i have to pick this up to walk like i said i'm five three so so yeah i don't have much to say about this dress first impression is i am impressed <laughs> um it's so cute uh this is something that i plan to wear at night um i plan to wear this to dinner uh to dress up i will put it with heels um in a cute bag yeah this is for dinner for the first night uh we're actually going on a birthday trip so that first night is my friend's birthday so we will be having dinner that night and ah! yes this is so cute okay i know this is a horrible review i'm not really saying much about the product but but yeah um as far as the chest goes what i really like the most is that it has these kind of like scrunchies right here that just it just accentuates all of this like and it goes down so deep but it's not like basic it adds kind of like a splash of pizzazz um and it and it kind of keeps me it makes me feel comfortable really and it also hides my sticky pads so um yeah i am impressed with this dress i definitely like this this is like a top one yeah i i, I did good i did i picked a good few pieces look at how good this y'all tell me how to look good tell me how to look good in the comments tell me <laughs> okay i'm done i'm done this is the last piece of clothing um last outfit piece of clothing that i have up next i have a bathing suit and a bathing suit cover-up so let's get into that okay i still have my stickies on but praise the lord the bathing suit fits y'all all right, y'all, we have this super cute, don't mind my stickies, I didn't take them off yet, but super cute ribbed bathing suit one piece um, that has kind of like a drawstring tie-up situation right here that if I, I guess if I wanted to, I'll probably leave that how it is. Oh, uh, this is cute. Now, I'm a little nervous about how my breast will be once I take this off, like I really can't do too much or I will have like a nip slip kind of situation. But you know, this doesn't really lift my tits or anything. So if you are self-conscious about where your tits sit, um, I don't know if this is the bathing suit for you, but it comes all the way up. Um, a little cheek action, but very slight cheek action. Um, like I said, the material is ribbed. So it's like, stretchy super stretchy it's actually pretty comfortable um i don't feel like self-conscious in it or anything it hugs me properly i think that even without the without my without my nip covers i think i should be fine um but it's very revealing it's a whole lot more revealing in the chest area than i remember it being in the photo but overall, it fits well. I don't really have too much to say about this. I mean, it's a bathing suit. Um, the bathing suit size is an extra large. And I bought this really cute brown cover-up, which I probably will keep the cover-up on because I don't think we're getting in the water. And honestly, I don't need to be swimming nowhere in this <laughs> because my stuff will just be out all over the place. So let me put the cover-up on. So I believe the cover-up is also a extra large let me just see super cute mesh kind of vibe we have going on yeah if i'm not mistaking this is an extra large so let's put it on so this is how i plan to wear the bathing suit y'all to be completely honest with you i don't plan to wear it by itself um oh cute oh she cute look at that oh this is cute guys oh I like it. Oh yeah. So this is what I plan on wearing on the boat day. We plan on getting a boat and well, we've already got the boat. Um, and uh, this will be a vibe. We're doing neutrals that day. So I figured a white bathing suit would be fine with like some brown. Um, this looks good. This looks, this looks, yeah, I kind of, I'm digging this. I also have another white bathing suit upstairs. If I just don't want to wear this one, I can put the two piece on and just kind of put the, put this over it. Um, because I'm trying to think like, would this look better if my midsection was showing, you know what I mean? Like, would it look better with a two piece bathing suit than a one? Um, uh, but either way, I think this came out really cute. This fits really comfortable. It's stretchy, it's breathable. Obviously it's completely mesh. Um, yeah, 
this is cute i really like this cover up this cover up makes me feel really comfortable it has like a cinching kind of vibe going on on the sides um but only on this side only on one side so oh it has like a string so i can like pull the strings if i want to get a little bit risque and have like a a half little vibe kind of thing going on you know once you have a little cheek out you know what i'm saying this is cute I like this. I'm glad that this came out to be cute. Fun, flirty, 30, and thriving. Okay guys, so now that we're done with the clothes, I wanna get right into the shoes. So I have four different pairs of shoes and I wanna talk about them all. Um, so let's start with the flats. So secondly, I also wanna talk about Shein's packaging. I really do like the packaging. I think if I'm not, what the heck was that? If I'm not mistaken, these are like the recyclable, like eco-friendly bags. And so every piece of clothing came in one of these. They didn't stuff multiple uh, multiple items in one bag. Every single piece of clothing had their own and it zips like this. I think these are reusable. I'm not really sure, but um, if I'm not mistaken, they feel like those eco-friendly bags. Um, I will say though that the things that are non-refundable come in these bags. Um, so my bathing suit and the and the cover-up, those you can't return, obviously, because you gonna try it on, you know. Don't nobody want no vagina juice on them. Anyways, they come in these bags, which I think are cute with the cute little monsteras and pink accents. Um, so these come in those, and they're just like like a Ziploc bag uh and then the shoes all came in this except for one pair um i don't know what kind of material these are one of the pairs of shoes came in a box um so so yeah so let's get into the first pair of shoes okay so these are the shoes it's really cute just really like i feel like it's a luxe take on just some like sandals you know what i mean just some cute fashionable sandals these are gonna last me all season all of the shoes that i purchased are in a size nine um so i'm gonna try them on and tell you guys how they feel okay so for anybody who has feet like me my feet are wide i have fat feet um so i do have to squeeze my foot in there a little bit but they don't they're not tight they don't feel tight they don't feel like Oh wow, I will, wow, wow, wow. The strap is like completely like stretchable, like stretchy, it's comfortable. My feet aren't being cut off their circulation when I bend my toes or anything like that. The padding in the, in the sandal is nice, it's soft. I'm impressed, I was expecting these to be hard, rough and hurt my feet. Oh wow, these are so, oh my God, these are so cute. Wow, I am impressed by the shoes, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, these are really cute and comfortable. Like actually, I can see myself walking around in these for a while without being uncomfortable. I'm impressed. Okay, I love these. Wow, I really love these. Good job, Shein. Okay, these are nice. This is so, this is like a great material to have on a strap like this because most sandals with like, you know, with straps, it's like hard and rough on your foot and like not bendable. Like if I were to bend my foot, it would hurt. You know what I mean? I'm impressed. I am impressed. Moving right along to the next, um, to the next sandal, I got a black pair. <laughs> But I believe that these are a little different. So this is what they look like. Okay, now these are nowhere near as soft as those, those other ones. However, this looks like it's still bendable and it won't hurt my feet. feet. Um, these look like they'll probably hurt a little bit more if I were to walk longer. Uh, but they're just really simple slides. Super cute. Not much of a platform pretty much walking on the floor but let's try them on okay same thing i gotta kind of inch my foot up in there which is fine it's normal okay so these are supposed to be a nine but they look like my foot is like hanging off i'm not gonna waste my time returning them i'm gonna keep these but but they're supposed to be a nine 
but they seem a little bit like my feet are right it feels like my feet are like right there like if i were even an inch if my feet were even an inch bigger this would not be a vibe but they're cute they're simple they're like um that's like a little faux leather on the strap part. It looks it's scrunchy. I think I like that. But I must say that these are a whole lot harder than the last pair. The last pair was really soft when you were it when you stepped in them. These are a whole lot harder. So I would not walk very far in these. Um, the strap is a whole lot tighter on my foot too. So I do feel a little bit of resistance when I bend my foot. Um, but it doesn't hurt or feel uncomfortable. I can just tell the difference. It's a big difference from this shoe and that one. I'm a whole lot more impressed with the other one. Um, but these aren't bad. These are cute. Definitely don't go on no long walk on the beach in these because your feet, they're going to hurt. But overall, I think they're cute. Go to black sandal that'll last me all season. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. All right, in the last two uh, pieces that I got from Shein are heels. Um, they're both black um, and I'm excited to see how these look and feel on my feet. Oh, I did not know these were suede. I should really look at the description. Okay, so here's the heel, just a little small heel, something real cute and dainty, nothing too crazy, little box square toe. Um, with two strappies here at the front. So let's move this little phone. Um, let's just go ahead and try these on. I didn't know these were suede. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'm going to try these on. I'm going to go ahead and strap them on for you guys and tell you how they feel. These aren't bad. They don't feel like they're going to hurt me all night long. The straps on the toes are pretty tight on my toes. But I feel like they're that's good because they add a bit of security um, to the heel so that my feet aren't hanging over the, the heel, if you know what I mean. Nothing's worse than your toes hanging over your heels. It ain't cute. Um, I like the additional strap that goes behind the heel for extra security as well. Um, I enjoy the aglets that are on the strings. It adds a bit of kind of like pizzazz. I don't know, like, I don't know really how to say, not pizzazz, but just like a little flair of style. Um, not so basic. Y'all, this shirt is like cracking me up right now. <laughs> um, but they're super cute. Um, I like these. I don't have too many square toed heels at all. Like now I do, but, um, these aren't bad. I can see myself being able to withstand, on these for a while I think the only area I'll have a little bit of pain is where the strap is um, because it is so tight but again these are a nine and they're like a heel but not too much of a heel you know they're not doing too much um, real strappy real sexy I think I like that a whole lot all right we got one more pair and these are probably the fit, my favorite ones um, that I just could not let go of, you know, I was, they were $30, like maybe like even 30 something dollars, $30 and some extra change, but I could not go without these heels. I had to have them and these are it. I thought these were just so cute. Okay, so I'm into like these small little heels lately. This material is the same as those sandals that I tried on that were really comfortable. Um, I like these because they're flappy. Um, so let, let, let's let try them on because I need to see because right now just touching it, they feel like those, um, those tan sandals and this feels super stretchy and flexible. I'm excited to put these on and see how these look. I still have the other shoe on my other foot, just an FYI. Okay, sis, I think we done did some. These are so cute. Feels like I literally don't have anything on my foot. Like it's so comfortable. I feel no, like I feel no restraint when I try to bend my foot. Um, they're just like, these are the, probably the most comfortable heels I've ever seen. Um, I've ever tried on myself. Um, I will say that the, uh, this heel is a little bit uh, shorter than the other heel uh, prior to this one, but I'm so glad that I did not drop my guns and still purchase this shoe because just look how cute, like 
this heel is just way too cute for anybody else's good. So guys, that is the end of today's try on haul. Is Shein good for curvy and plus size women? I think that overall my analysis is yes, it is. I think that they have a wide range of, um, they have a wide range of sizes, um, especially in the plus size section. It goes all the way, I believe, to 4X. And the clothes fit good. They fit fine. I will say the quality of some of the things are cheap. Um, but I don't think that the overall brand is cheap. I think that just a couple of, you know, pieces are. I will say that if you are a plus size or curvier woman and you have been kind of teetering and tottering with the idea of shopping Shein, I think that you should try it out, see if you like the pieces. Um, it pretty much is true to size. I mean, this is a 1XL. I've never been a 1XL in any type of shirt ever. Um, uh, but because of the type of shirts they are, that's why I got a 1XL. So you can kind of use that as a guide. Typically I am an extra large or a large depending on the type of shirt. Um, but yeah, like I said, I got 1XLs in, in, in like the crop kind of like the ones that look like this and then um some of the other shirts were extra larges so just um everything will be in the description box as far as size um clothing piece of item um i'm even going to try to put the SKU numbers for you or the, the SKU number item numbers for you guys so that you can easily find these pieces if you're interested in purchasing them this video is not sponsored this is literally me testing out the brand because i've always been just so skeptical so i was like you know what let me just try them out let me see what their plus size curve section is looking like and overall i will say i am pretty pleased i feel like i'm able to wear a lot of the things that a lot of um slimmer women can wear but just in my size and and flattering to my body so i think overall i am very happy with my purchases um everything is super cute i'm most ecstatic about my shoes <laughs> um i'm so happy the way those uh turned out to be especially those slides and the sandal heels sis Ooh, girl i love it but um but yeah i think that's pretty much it i hope this was like a kind of a good haul try on haul kind of Thing for you guys i hope that you find it helpful and beneficial and if you do go and shop shein let me know what you guys think about the products the quality if you're going to shop again if you got some of the things that i got how do they look on you i would love 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 to know in the comments below but for now be sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel because if you made it this far then you might as well subscribe and turn your bell notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video stay tuned for my travel videos so you can see how i style all of these super cute clothes and yeah see y'all next time